Hey everyone, James back here. Welcome back to another episode of VGC 2020 Bex for Bows. To date, we're going to be using the team that got number one in January on the Battle Stadium ladder. We have the Pissimian Vanellux, Grimmsnarl, Gothitelle, Rotomwash, and Chandelure. If you want to try out the team, there is in the description down below. And if you want to check out the previous episodes to see how we were doing with this team before, highly recommend go check it out. But let's get started and play some games. So, today's common question of today is going to be, which game are you looking forward to in March? So, March, we're having a release of multiple interesting games. I think the two big ones that stand out to me are Animal Crossing, uh, what's the new one called? Animal Crossing Island Tour, I think it is. And then there's the, uh, obviously, the remake of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX. Let me know which one you're most interested in. I, As much as I'm a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fan, and it was like my first game on Nintendo DS I owned, I think it'd be Animal Crossing. I've been, I don't know why, I've had a super big craving to play Animal Crossing again. And I've only played New Leaf. I'm not like a huge Animal Crossing fan. I've only played New Leaf, but I really enjoyed my time with New Leaf. And I think it's just really enjoyable as a whole, I think. Um, there's just some kind of charm to it. All right, we got our first get opponent, though. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts in the comment section down below, which game you're looking forward to in March. We got Vanellix, Togekiss, the Dragapult, uh, Conch Helder, Arcanine, and the Gothitelle. So this is interesting because it's a very similar team fashion, I guess. If you want to call it that. Um, play I think is like Vanellix plus the Gothitelle lead. Uh, do I want to go Pissimian? I don't know if I do. Grimmsnarl is kind of all right. <laughs> I think it's actually, you know what? I'm gonna bring Grimmsnarl. I don't think Toge. I think Chandelure in the back. I don't think Rotom does too much other than Gothitelle specifically and the uh. Togekiss, but I think Togekiss is gonna lead, so it's gonna get damaged early on, I think. So, not exactly too sure. Let's see here. Okay, we're gonna see the uh, Gothitelle Togekiss lead here against the uh, Gothitelle Vanellix lead. So, not a bad lead choice for us, for sure. Uh, we do get the advantage here, technically. We get Snow Warning up. Um, okay, I do like this position a lot. Is there a way my opponent can really reverse the situation? Could be Max Flare on the Togekiss. Um, I think I want to just go for the Blizzard and the Psychic right away. Because I'm not really worried about Gothitelle as an offensive threat. I am worried about Togekiss or whatever can switch into, which could be Conkelder. But it looks like a Dynamax right away, which doesn't scream yay for me. So this could be Max Flare and this could obliterate me. We'll find out. I guess I'm gonna get hard punished for this. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna get hard punished for this. Cause I don't think we're living. Ooh, I didn't want to Dynamax right away cause I didn't know if you would. Oh, it's just Airstream coming out. Okay. And the Gothitelle. Yeah, it doesn't look like a crit. It just looks like regular damage. It does look like it's offensive though. Speed boost. Blizzard. That did nothing though. Ooh. Oh, it's policy on Togekiss. That's not what I expected. Oh, in prison. Okay, it's in prison trick room. That Gothitelle is still super slow. I'll definitely take that. That's not bad for me at all. Sure, I can't. Now I can Dynamax here. Okay. Now I can Dynamax and try to KO that thing. Let me see if it does have Trick Room. Okay, it did seal Trick Room. It sealed Psychic too. I do have Energy Ball though, so at least I can hit it. Yeah, that's an unfortunate freeze from my opponent, but I'll definitely take it. <laughs> Wasn't expecting the Imprison either. Huh. Guess it's specifically meant to counter Trick Room. I probably should have checked if it was a um, um, if it was competitive, got the tell from a shout attack by trying to switch up Vanellix. Um, which I guess I can do the next turn. Tokus stays frozen solid. Wow, we are lucky today. Ah, I should enter the lottery today. <laughs> Alright, here comes the hailstorm. Ooh, doesn't knock it out, but with the hail it will. 
Psychic like gonna come out, but that won't do too much. No special defense drop, energy ball does come out. So at least I can touch the Gothitelle. Looks like it's gonna be a berry, which is citrus it looks like, cause it doesn't look like a 33% berry. Yeah. Ah, love to freeze it. Lo you love to freeze it. Okay, that wasn't technically an optimal play, turn one. Uh, I think Hailstorm and the Psychic would have barely missed a knockout. Actually, I couldn't have psychic because of the... Oh, wait, no. He in prison, and then I psychic. Wait. Huh? Did I attempt a trick room? No, I didn't. I went for psychic, right? I'm actually super confused on how that interaction worked. Because I did click psychic, right? Oh, no. It just prevented me from using psychic. Okay, it could have still been a bad spot. Okay, let's try switching out to see if it's a... Uh... Okay, it is shadow tag. Confirmed. We can go for a max steel spike and energy ball, I guess, to double up. Blizzard, okay, you can't freeze me, but Gothitelle will go down here, which is fine. And steel spike. Let's see if this knocks out. I kind of doubt it. We don't have a policy boost. Is that Sash or did it just live? It's Sash, okay. I wasn't sure if that was policy and they lived to like one HP, but we're good. Okay. Um. I guess our best play is Grimmsnarl. Or is it Chandelure? I think it's Grimmsnarl, because I can fake out the uh, Vanellux and go for a Max Hailstorm into the Gothitelle. And I think that's 100% fine. Or should I just double up the, uh, or should I just double up the Chandelure? What else could you bring? In the back. Uh, could be Arcanine. Uh, actually, no. The best play, I think, is to Max Steel Spike here. The, uh, thing get a boost. Oh, I can't fake out. That's kind of cheeky. Okay, I'm gonna sucker punch the Gothitelle attempt then. Oh, Bow's gonna be forfeit, huh? I guess my opponent didn't have anything good in the back that was confident I could win. I forgot you could see a fake out too. I completely forgot that. I didn't think it would be fake out in prison. I thought it'd be like psychic trick room in prison, maybe protect to seal off protect. Maybe I. Yeah, I couldn't even check that. But yeah, we did get very lucky. <laughs> that turn on freeze really did help. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we would have lost without it. But hey, that's sometimes how Pokemon goes. And that is the chance of Blizzard. We have two 10% chances to get a 10% freeze every time. I think that was our first time getting that 10% chance, at least with this team. Did we get a second one? I don't remember. Oh, we could have. We got Delta, though, as our next opponent, though. Charizard, Duraldon, Excadrill, Rotom Wash, Tyranitar, and Whimsicott. So, you got Sand Mode, you got Charizard Mode, you got Duraldon Mode. This team looks so scary. This team actually has so many different modes, it's scary. Um, I think my best attempt is to try to get Trick Room up. Lead, Gothitelle, plus Chandelure. The Simeon's really good in the back. Do I bring the Rotom is the question, because I kind of don't want to, but it might be optimal. It's like I'm using fighting for the three steel types. Um, I could technically bring Vanellux. I don't, know, I don't think Vanellux is optimal either. Uh, Grimstar is definitely not coming. It's between uh, Rotom Wash and Vanellux, I think. Um, I think I'll bring Rotom for the consistency. Uh, or do I want to bring the Vanellix because it can freeze dry the Rotom, which would be good. I think I'm going to bring Rotom anyway. I think Rotom's fine. We'll see how this goes, though. If I can get Trick Room up and utilize those turns well, I think I could win. If I don't get Trick Room up, it's going to be extremely hard, though. My opponent doesn't have good ways to stop Trick Room, though. Because if you lead Whimsicott, I get Trick Room up guaranteed, no matter what. So let's see what's going to come out here. 
By the way, a good trick if you're fighting competitive uh, Gothitelle. Well, if you're fighting Gothitelle and you want to find out what ability it is, try switching out your first Pokemon first to see if it's Shadow Tiger or competitive. It helps to know. I uh, Williams got Charizard will lead here, which is fine. Against my Chandelure Gothitelle. Okay. I'm gonna be real here. Is there any point of me not clicking Psychic? I guess if it's Taunt on the Whimsicott. I'm gonna fake out and Trick Room. Cause like, there's nothing that really like, stops me from getting Trick Room up here. If you're not Dynamax in a Whimsicott, if you are, cool. Uh, you wasted the Dynamax in a Whimsicott, I guess. Yeah, I probably should've psychic Best T-Tar coming out. I would've psychic that slot anyway. I don't think I'd tear down the Charizard slot. Sandstream's gonna come out, which is fine. And Charizard gonna Dynamax? Yeah, it is. So let's see if it's G Max Charizard or not, because that is gonna be a big question. It is G Max, it looks like. Okay. So I'm fine with that. I don't really need Chandelure for much in this game, other than getting to trick him up. Get a bit of chip on Tyranitar. G wildfire, so this is gonna base this is gonna be annoying. Like this mac this fire is gonna be annoying. It looks like it's based on blast burn, because that did bit way too much. Oh, it's life orb. Huh. Get to trick room up, which is fine. This Gothitelle's taking a lot of damage. Unfortunately, I think I have to sack both Pokemon here because I don't think either of them is going to really help me out. Um, I'm going to go for the Psychic and Shadow Ball combination into Charizard because I want to see if I can try to put in range of Thunderbolt from Magnet Rotom. After maybe some sand and uh, damage. If you double protect here, it's fine. Well, even if you just protect Charizard, that's fine. Psychic, Shadow Ball. That's fine. Rock Slide or Crunch? It's Crunch. I could have switched out into uh, Passimia, it looks like. I was worried about Rock Slide coming out there. Um, even though, technically, I think my opponent did make the best play in Crunch, I didn't want to risk my opponent going for Rock Slide and going for the Fire move into my Gothito slot. Okay. Passimian, Rotom. I think we're still fine though, regardless. Cause I got to go for Max Rockfall, trying to knock out the Charizard that just Max guarded this turn. And I'm gonna just Thunderbolt the Tyranitar and try to put in range of Max Fighting. If it goes for Max Guard here, it's fine. Actually, if I expected Max, if I expected Protect from Tyranitar, the best play was to go for a Rock Slide Thunderbolt into Charizard. Because I didn't have to waste my Dynamax. Yeah, that was a better play. I should have thought about that more. I guess I had to risk Rock Slide, apparently. But I think it's a risk I have to take because I'm kind of down right now. Yeah, might have been better. Let's see. I think Tyranitar most likely wants to switch out or protect at least. Well, there's no switch out from Charizard, so I'm getting KO on the Charizard slot, which is good. Let's see who's faster between Tyranitar and Passimian, though. I want to imagine Tyranitar because the Passimian looks like it's kind of fast, actually. Even with no speed investment, but we'll see. Yeah, it does protect. Ah, I should have Rockside Thunderbolt. That was a better play. But, I mean, I still get the knockout on Charizard, which is fine. Okay. Goodbye, Charizard. So it's not terrible, technically. Thunderbolt into the Protect. Let's see who's coming out next. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot that the G-Max Wildfire is still in effect. Um, should be over next turn. Yeah. Because it's four turns for that effect. Grotom coming out. Interesting. 
I'm more worried about the Rotom than the Tyranitar, realistically, because Tyranitar doesn't exactly handle my uh, Simeon well. So I think I'm going to just try to knock out the Rotom. Mm, but Rotom could protect, I guess. If it doesn't have protect, though, I think it's a better play. I don't want to take a Will-O-Wisp. No protect, okay. Because Max Fighting. I want. I don't know if Thunderbolt will knock out at that range. Crunch into Rotom, it looks like. We should live pretty easily. Okay, we do outspeed my opponent's Rotom and get the Thunderbolt off. And that does pick up a knockout. That's huge. Okay. So we're back in this game. We're able to knock out the Rotom, which is absolutely good. I think our Rotom will also survive the uh, Sandstorm. And the Wildfire, we should live barely. Yeah, perfect. And then it's Whimsicott is the last Pokemon. Yep. With our Assault Vest, we should live. I'm going to go for Max Steel Spike into the Whimsicott. And a... Actually, how many turns of Sand is left? Should be... Last turn of Sand. No, I needed to... Oh, that's bad. I need a two. Oh, I needed a turn of sand because I can knock out the women's got through Sash. I don't think I can do that play anymore. Oh, you protect the Tyranitar. I could have doubled up the... I didn't think you would do that. Oh, this is very bad. This is very bad. Because I probably activated a policy here. Oh, if I doubled up the whims, would have been so much better. Moonblast is coming out. There's a policy. There's a Moonblast. I did less than I fought, but the next one will probably knock me out. <laughs> Special attack drop. <laughs> Sand subsides, which is bad. I was hoping for one more turn of sand. <laughs> Cause like if I tried, to, let's say I targeted a Whimscott there as the Tyranitar attacked with like Rock Slide or something, I feel like I just lost. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hope for like I survived a Moonblast or my opponent somehow throws this, which I don't think you can. I think you just Moonblast the Rotom slot. Yeah. Because I can't punish it. <laughs> Wait, what? What's the time? Always faster. Oh yeah, it was. It's faster than the Pazimian, slower than the Rotom. Oh man, I should have just went for the double up in the Whimsicott. My entire game plan was just hoping that I could knock out the. Uh, like, what I did was what I was trying to do. The only problem was that stupid Whimsicott. Uh, I mean, the Sandstorm specifically. Because I needed the Sandstorm. Because it's Sash on the... Yeah, it's Sash on the Whimsicott. I need, I need to I need to break the Sash with Sand, which is why I want, was hoping that the Sand was hoping for one more turn. I miscounted. I guess then technically the best play was trying to knock out the... Uh, I was going for the max fighting on that turn into Tyranitar, Thunderbolt to Rotom, and then I could double up the, uh, double up the Tyranitar, I think. Mm. Uh, that wasn't that great. I, f I think there were definitely plays I could have made better, though, like switching out the Chandelure out into Passimian. I was just worried about the double up in case my opponent decided not to max guard. Because I don't think my opponent had to max guard there that turn. Which is why I felt like I didn't want to risk Passimian. But maybe I should have just risked Passimian there. Uh, Might have been better. Also that... <sighs> yeah. I guess maybe I should have Thunderbolt Rock Slide. I think that's the turn I messed up. If I Thunderbolt Rock Slide instead of going for the max Rock Fall. That would have been so much better. Because having that extra turn of Dynamax could have really changed this game. In how it could have been played. Yeah. Because having that extra Dynamax turn... Just would have been so huge, I think. 
So I think that was the turn I really messed up in. Oh well, hope that everyone enjoyed today's episode of VGC 2020 Backs with Battles though. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like down below, share support, as well as you can check out the rest of my stuff down below in the description, such as my social media, the side series of my channel, and more. You can check out the pace of this team down below in the description, alongside the rental code, as well as the report and the user who made the team. Otherwise, yeah, you can leave a like on this video, share it with your friends, leave a comment down below, and check out my other stuff, as well as if you want to go an extra mile to support my content, there is my Patreon page and my YouTube channel you can check out in the description down below. But otherwise, thank you all for tuning in. Have a great day, people. Until we bow again, I'll catch you all later.